This is Roger with Wheel Kinetics in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this 2005 Sienna, Toyota Sienna XLE. Um, it has 113,152 miles. It was a theft recovery purchase directly from an insurance company in Hayward, California. It is on a salvage title due to theft. Please watch the little three minute animated video on the topic, why you have a salvage title on a car that's clearly not injured. Um, basically, it's the attorneys for the insurance companies that don't want any more liability for their client, the insurance company. If they sold to us on a clean title, we sold it to you on a clean title, and then you killed somebody or killed yourself in it, obviously Wheel Connects doesn't have the money that Progressive or Geico has, and a slick attorney might be able to wind it back to them and say, hey, if you gave it a salvage title, there would be no liability, but the clean title implied blah, 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 lawyers, okay? That's how you end up with this. That's also how you end up paying so little for this vehicle compared to what it would be on a clear title. So the title also saves you a ton of money, so thank God for the lawyers uh, as far as the money on this thing is concerned. Anyway, uh, we uh, get them here. We do a, an inspection. That's what this inspection looks like. Um, it got new tires. Uh, whoever owned it changed it to 16s on it. Um, so it's got 16s on it. Uh, the tires are brand new. We just installed them uh, a couple days ago. Uh, got a cabin AC filter, air filter, and a battery, okay? Um, other than that, it's exactly the way it showed up. Uh, it has, uh, these wheels are a little bit rough looking, but it's got brand new tires on it. We could have gone crazy with touch up and blah, 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 but we're trying to keep this as a people mover. Um, interior's really nice in it. And uh, if we start dealing with every, you know, every little scrape like that or that, then we'll end up with a vehicle that we have to sit and sell for $1,000 more. When really, whoever buys this isn't gonna buy it uh, or not buy it because of a chip or a scratch or wheels that aren't attractive, okay? That's my opinion. And uh, since we've been doing this for 10 years, I have a pretty good feel for this and that's what's going to happen. Somebody's just gonna wanna move kids in it, see like this. They're gonna love it. And these things get dinged up in parking lots pretty quickly anyway. So consider this one pre-dinged. <laughs> My brother's gonna take this thing out and he's going to take somewhere between probably 60 and 80 HD pictures in that gallery you'll have a little device that'll allow you to zoom in on whatever you see that's of interest um, click on that it's just like having your face an inch away from the vehicle so please use that so that uh, there's no doubts there's like a ship right here so that there's no doubts on what you're buying you know exactly what you're buying um, we know what we will sell this vehicle for we sold it many of these same title same miles same everything the key here though for us is to find the right buyer. It's not to uh, sell it. The selling part's easy. Um, so. Gun. Ah! Turn the radio down there. All right, where's the mileage? The mileage is right there, 113, 161. Okay? Let me get out of here. I'll open the hood here in a second. Show you what else we have here. Let's see, there's the uh, Kelly Blue Book for it. That's for a Sienna van, XLE with the miles. Suggested retail price, $9,599. There's the equipment. The equipment will be in the ad, so you don't have to freeze your video to look at that. It was a mid-century insurance vehicle. And now it's Wheel Kinetics. There you go. Okay. I'm going to open up the hood. There you go. There's your bins where they belong. There's a bin there. There should be another bin over here. There should be one on the hood. Somewhere over here. Oh, there it is. Right there. Okay. That way you know everything's original. It's got a new battery, like I said earlier. Yeah. 
this. Ah, forget how to do it. There it is. Oh, I need two hands. Anyway, I need two hands to do this. Maybe I can figure it out here with my leg here a little bit. There we go. Boom. All right. Like that. That. It's a nice van. Really nice van. I do have a DVD player. I know my guys had it run a little while ago. Let's see, here's a button to close the door. There's that. This seat will fold into this hole right here and uh, lay flat so you have a big cargo space there that you can deal with, that you can uh, have without dealing with a bunch of, uh, of uh, moving chairs around and stuff like you have to do in uh, SUVs. It's really annoying when you have to do that. Seats look great. The interior of this car is beautiful. Alright, close that. Let's see. Driver window, passenger window. Let's see. Driver rear window, or passenger rear window, and driver rear window. Okay? Let's see what else we got here. Power seat forward, back, up, down, tilt forward and back. Alright, let's see. Let me get in here and cool off a little bit. It is hot. By the end of the summer, my videos suck. <laughs> I'm wilting. There's your mirror out and in, up and down. Other side, out, in, up, down. Let's see. Let's see how you can. Oh, that was the. That's the doors. There's the door on that side. Open and close from this column. Here's the from that side, all right? Okay, and then we have the. I'm not sure if we can do that with. I think with the key in the car, I don't think you're allowed to open up the trunk. Let's see. Here's the moonroof. Here's that. up all right let's see what else blah 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 I don't know what else there is to show you here we got the heated seats there's the heated seats the rear air is going I think that's a DVD in the are you Santa Claus? I'm just asking something like that. Did you have a reindeer? There's a lot of people have reindeer. Name five. <laughs> Experience all the I believe that's it. magic of an unforgettable Disney event. We have cocoa. We have a blanket. We have a... So all that stuff works fine. Here's your cruise control on and off. And yikes. Got a seatbelt on here and go for a ride. It has 113, 161. And interestingly enough, there's a uh, oil change sticker right here that says 113, 400. So it's been, it, they, they maintained it. That's always a good thing. Let me see that. All right, let's go for a ride. This is not a salvage title. Uh, you cannot get a, uh, plates. We cannot issue you plates, and you cannot get insurance on a salvage title. Um, so if you're going to come to Tucson and drive it home, uh, we have to take it to the police and get what's called a level three inspection. That level three inspection will allow us to get what's called a restored salvage title. Then, once we have a restored salvage title, we can issue drive away plates, and you can get insurance. So if you're going to drive it home, that's mandatory. We charge $200 to do that before you get here. Why $200? 50 goes to the state for the for the inspection itself. 150 covers our guy uh, at a minimum of four hours up to 10 hours. Um, they're not allowed to leave them there anymore. Uh, we used to be able to drop them off and come back later. Now they let make us sit there on the curb for all, sometimes all day. Um, my guy gets there at six in the morning and he can be there till five in the afternoon. 
Um, so that's why. So $200 to restore the title, $250 dock fee, and then you have taxes. Taxes are 2% city sales tax here in Tucson, plus whatever your state tax rate is. So if your state tax rate is 5%, you'll pay seven. If it's four, you'll pay six. Very simple, if you come here, $200 to restore the title, $250 for a dock fee, and then 2% on top of your state tax rate. And our, that 2% is our city tax, okay? Um, if you pay by wire and ship, all you pay is agreed upon price. Uh, unless you wanna click the button online that says to restore the title, and we'll restore the title before you ship, but you will pay an additional $200, okay? Uh, for us to restore the title before it ships out, okay? Um, let's see. Once we receive your wire, we will uh, fill out the title and with your name or your company's name and address, notarize it, sign it off, scan it in your online file, and mail it to you. We will uh, also scan in the envelope we mail it in. So you'll be able to see all that stuff even before it hits the mail. And then once you have the uh, vehicle shipped to you, you already have the title, you go down to motor vehicle and get plates. Very simple. Um, deposit is $500. Once we have a deposit, we have a deal. Until then, it is for sale. We do not hold vehicles for friends or relatives or anybody because uh, it just always ends up a mess. So make sure you're ready to get a deposit in. Siennas tend to go pretty quickly. I think the longest we've ever had a Sienna is maybe two weeks. And uh, this one's going to be a lower price one. A, because of the title, which you don't drive. You don't drive a piece of paper. You drive the car. And B, because it's got you know the rough wheels on it. Uh, a couple nicks here and there, but it's still gonna be so far below what everyone else is selling. And the interior is fantastic. Everything works great, it runs great. Um, so we know what this thing's gonna sell for, and uh, it's gonna sell relatively quick. So make sure you get your deposit in so that you're not disappointed. You know, go through the video and all that stuff and have some guy beat you, which just happened yesterday. People were bidding on the same truck at the same time, and one beat the other with the deposit, and the other one's pissed off at us. like. We're the reason they're slow with their credit card. <laughs> I had no idea why they're mad at us, but they are, they're really mad too. It was a beautiful truck and they knew it and uh, they blew it. So anyway, be prepared with your credit card. Uh, I would get it out before you even start the process. That way, um, if you do wanna buy it and you're ready to go, that you're ready to go, okay? Um, what else? Warranty speech. It's a 12 year old, 113,000 mile, Toyota. Now, they run forever, and this one runs great. Uh, no vibrations, everything's working. Um, new tires, uh, but you never know. I mean, it could break. Toyota gave it uh, X amount of miles and X amount of years, and it's way past that on their warranty that they gave it. If they could have given it a 200,000 mile, you know, 20 year warranty, they would have, um, but they didn't. And we don't know more than the people who built this thing, okay? So please realize that there's still some risk involved. We try to mitigate the risk. Um, we try to make sure that people know what they're buying. Um, and like I said, the purpose of these videos is to make sure that people know what they're doing and what they're buying and give them as much information as possible. But we're still not Nostradamus. We do not know what's going to happen to this car the day you get it. Um, it could break the day you get it. If it does, write a check and get it fixed. We are not writing checks. Do not call us for money. We're not going to send any money. That's the way this works. There's going to be a time when you're going to have to adopt some uh, responsibility. It's got the JBL audio and everything here. nice this is a really nice car um, anyway just realize that you're buying you're saving a bunch of money but you're not buying a brand new car if you want a brand new car if you want risk-free go buy a Sienna there this one is about 45 grand now at the new car dealerships and for three years you'll have warranty when you're done you're still gonna owe 25 or 30 and you'll be out of warranty and that is the truth okay anyway thank you for your time